What's up guys, Shiro Plates here with another video since forever <laughs> and I bring great news for those that play Rainbow Six Siege. Fuck Discord by the way. Ubisoft decided to add the Vulcan API. What is the Vulcan API you may ask? I won't answer this in this video because there is a video officially for the Rainbow Six Siege community out there and I will link it down in the description so if you want to know what it is you can check it out. All I can tell you is that it's amazing. I benchmarked both versions and see how they both compare from the minimum frames, the average frames and the maximum frames from the official benchmark from the game. I recorded both and yeah i was using a gtx 1060 and an intel i5 2500 with 8 gigabits of dual channel dda3 ram and an ssd both recorded and both played on windows 10. be aware that while i was able to record direct, the direct x11 version of the game with obs without any problems i wasn't able to record uh, Rainbow Six Siege with the Vulkan API with OBS because there's no support for it it seems. So I had to use the window mode for the game so the minimum frames are will be lower nonetheless how the results will be. Just so you keep in mind that maybe you may expect more frames that increase and less however you think. But nonetheless I won't talk that much let's jump right into the benchmark. Here. And this is really astonishing because even though I were on window mode, the minimum frames are a lot lower than on the full screen Dart X11 version. But I did it again with full screen and screenshotted the benchmark end results. And look at this. Wow. Okay. It's on every way, on every level better. For me, it's about a 15% increase on minimum frames, which is hella amazing when it comes to real gameplay and for those people that have like me not a really high tier cpu for this time of the year um 
it is a really great increase in FPS. Before I end this video here though, I know that some Steam users, including me, um, have the problem that you can't launch the game yet. And there's a simple fix for that actually, uh, until Steam adds a button to launch the Vulkan API, and I will show that for the Steam users here. Well, just go into your games, you can do that while knowing where your actually game is, or going to Steam and searching up the game, right clicking on it, properties, local data, and search local data. You can do that from now on too. From here on now you can just scroll down until you find the Rainbow Six Siege Axer and you will notice that there is a new Axer and it's the Vulcan Axer, executable. And simple as that, you just switch those two around. So just back up this one. I won't do it this time because I already did it. But back up this one. I will just copy it on my second screen now. And just right click. And rename it to Rainbow Six. That exit. Now you just do this here. The same way. Just rename it. But rename it to Vulcan. Voila, get it in here. And now when you click on Rainbow Six on play, it will launch the Vulcan Axe. That's it. You will have now the Vulcan Axe until now. If Steam decides to add a button for the game, you will have to redo that or scan for, for mistakes in the game engine by just going to local data again and just scanning for mistakes. That's it. I hope this video was helpful after all, the benchmark results, and I would say use Vulcan for every step. Except if you're recording, then you should still use DirectX 11, because OBS um, doesn't support it yet. And recording something in window mode sucks, to be honest. Yeah, that's it. I hope you were enjoying this video, and after like two more years when I publish a new video. <laughs>